Right, today we're at a property that has got a significant dry rot outbreak where it's growing all across the floors, everywhere. It's taken hold of lots of timber, as you can see. And this is going all the way through the cellar. Going across the floors. As you can see, it's all, all sealed in air everywhere. But I just want to show you some other interesting stuff. There's some more dry rot. So you can see across the floor here, pretty significant, lovely little purpley pink fruit and bodies. As you can see, I sit on the pallets, just literally just collapsing. But when you're looking for dry rot issues, you always try to look the source of moisture. Now this is below ground, so it's always going to be a bit damp anyway. So it's inevitable it's going to be water, but also you're looking for condensation related stuff, leaks and stuff like that. So there's some issues with the drains outside that need to be rectified. But looking at some of the moisture measurements with the hygrometer, um, we can also see some other stuff going on here. So when we're looking at here, we've just got the hygrometer and we've got it into an isotherm. So it's actually linking up with the thermal images. We've got a dew point now of 11.6 degrees. So if we use the thermal imaging camera, we can literally scan across these walls rapidly. So as you can see there, this is all at dew point. So just by using the thermal image, we can locate the coldest areas. So we can really pick the areas of the most interest. So we're looking at now trying to find a source. So the most prominent areas of this rot is literally all around this room here. And it's like, why is this the main one? And that's the reason. You've got a lot of condensation occurring now. Um, let's get that on that camera a minute. You can see, that's where your area is now. I'm just going to put this camera down a minute. I just want to show you this bit here. So if I turn this light on, move all this stuff away from the wall, and if you can actually see, these water droplets, all the condensation occurring, exactly the same as the isotherm with the thermal imaging camera. And you can see it's all running down the walls there. It's everywhere along there. Now, obviously, being a basement area, a lot of the moisture production is made from the flats above. So if you start measuring the vapour pressure in here, it's always going to be more than outside, but a bit less than sometimes the flats. There's only one part in here that's got some ventilation. And this is this one here. And this one's actually stuck. I've just freed it up. And there's actually quite a lot of air coming through there now. I don't know what's probably about 10, 12 litres per second. I might actually measure it in a minute just to see what's going on there. But that is probably one of the causes. Just because, if you could imagine, over a long period of time when you get a lot of water from the condensation seeping across the floor, and you've got a lot of timber in there. You know, there's a lot of timber. It's absorbing the moisture. You've got the old brick floor. It's holding the moisture as well. It's inevitable. You know, it is inevitable. You're going to get a condensation problem that's going to stay around for a long time. Everything's going to be a bit colder. But, you know, there is some significant issues here with the old rot and the timber. But, fortunately, it doesn't seem to have taken hold of any like, first floor timbers or anything. So it is relatively easy to fix on there. But if you look here as well, you can see all this here. That's been in contact with damp fridge. You've got a load of um, weevil and common furniture wheel here on this little one. Um, look a little shoe stand or something. But you can see that's what long term woodworm infestation looks like. You see lots of piles of fresh frass on there. You know, there's a wee little holes on there where it's been the exit holes. There's a couple about as well, wouldn't it, have seen? But yes, and also, which is really, really interesting, just going to show you. So you're not just looking at walls when you're looking at um, condensation. So we're obviously, we're scanning the whole building across here. I just want to show you on this bit here as well. So I know, let's have a quick look on here a minute. Let's change this. So you can see as well, all of that 
is just above condensation on there as well. And I was chatting to the people and actually said they have put a little bucket there because you get a little bit of dripping. You can see, you've got a lot of rock around here as well. And this is where there's a lot of water. So there's a lot of moisture about. A lot of the floors holding moisture as well. But if it can't evaporate, it's gonna be you know, a longer term problem. Obviously you've got there, you've got the treated timber and you've got the cuttings rotten. Now typically as well, like these, these um, cut ends they're never treated they're just cut and that's why you get still get the rot in there because they're not haven't been treated so you can see look this rot is everywhere it's every pretty colors so I hope this has been of some interest and it's just a bit of um knowledge on rot and also a bit of thermal imaging can help you you know in these sort of situations thanks for watching